You guys could pass that around. That's what they're doing for the hydro. So we're here at Mud Creek Slide. We're out pretty much in the middle of the slide. It all began up there and came down. Let me get to the cliff notes of what's going on here. So the Mud Creek landslide occurred on May 20th, 2017, and it reshaped the California coastline and was the and is the largest recorded in Big Sur. Is located we're located at post mile marker 8.6 in San Luis Obispo County, um, one mile south of the coastal town of Florida, California. Well, actually, we're, we are in Mon Monterey County, nine miles north of the Monterey San Luis Obispo County line. Slide material initially extended 600 feet into the ocean, creating 15 acres of new land. And this whole area is that new land that we're sitting on right now. A quarter mile section of the scenic Highway 1 now lies under rock and dirt, uh, 1,700 feet wide. In total, about 75 acres of land were displaced, including 15 acres out to sea, 5 million cubic yards of slide debris. The slide is currently still active and access is now open. <laughs> uh, pretty much above this is the road that everyone travels. No one really gets to come down here. This will be used for ongoing maintenance of this area. Um, we have RSP set up all along. What's RSP? It's the rock slope protection to prevent the wave energy. Um, we're in, we're north of Point Conception. We have a lot of wave energy here that already began eroding the slide after the slide began. And that was one of the big issues with this was all the erosion and the sediment displacement going over all the black abalone habitat, which I'll talk about later. So back to, okay, so since the 1980s, uh, state of California has created over 100 coastal marine reserves and conservation areas, acknowledging that submerged coastal resources, such as black abalone, kelp forests, and other fish species are, sig are significant value to the state and deserve responsible management. Coastal Big Sur is also a national marine sanctuary, which provides a greater level of product protection through the National Marine Sanctuaries Act. Federal and state agencies have collaborated with the California Department of Transportation, Caltrans, to establish standard protocols to ensure landslide response activities progress as quickly as possible, while also complying with multiple federal, state, and local laws protecting public safety and the environment. Caltrans and the Morro Bay, uh, Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary are coordinating with other federal, state, local agencies to determine engineering solutions for restoring the road while minimizing the natural resources. So we have the, the road opened early summer of 2018 and the rough cost of it was around $40 million. Um, we built a new roadway that, transverse, that transverses the slide area on top of the slide material um, and includes a series of embankments, berms, rocks, netting like you see over there, uh, culvert which is right there, and other stabilizing material to ensure driver safety. So basically above the roadway prism is a big bowl. It already naturally formed to some degree and all the engineers were looking at it as well as all the experts that Caltrans brought in that have worked on a bunch of the slides in the area. And their best solution was to build up the banks of the bowl to make sure all the material that's coming down, all the rock fall from the top, top of that scarp, which is like the top of that ridge right there, that all still is coming down. It's all active slide. So that's all being caught in this massive bowl and every once in a while we'll have to go in there and clean out the bowl with backhoes to make sure it's actually caught and doesn't overfill onto the roadway. And once that bowl was kind of built up a little bit more, they had to punch in a culvert to drain the water that would collect in that bowl. So that culvert's now filtering out all the water and going out down into the ocean here. And the other big main project was to do the seawall, which is pretty much the RSP protecting the foot so there's no undercutting of this slide um, and the roadway. So that's what we have here. Um, to the biology sides of things, 
Um, after this slide happened, every, pretty much every agency was up here. USGS was up here a lot mapping. They had um, some of their drone teams up here mapping the shoreline as the shoreline was receding. Um, there's a lot of information probably getting published right now on that. Um, that was really interesting to see. And then the black abalone stuff came in. So pre-existing intertidal and subtidal habitats of the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary were destroyed by the slide on the 21st of May, 2017. About 1,700 feet of rocky intertidal was initially buried by the slide. Estimates indica indicate two acres of rocky intertidal habitat and 13 acres of subtidal habitat were buried. Currently, it is not known how wide the subtidal fan spreads out from the visible parts of the slide. It's very deep out there and the USGS was mapping some of it, so maybe we'll get some more information soon. Um, black abalone, ha halitosis. Haliotis, uh, haliotis. Haliotis, uh, car cardia, Yeah. Cardidae, was listed as endangered in 2009 under the Endangered Species Act, protecting it from illegal take. Um, part 222, General Endangered and Threatened Marine Species provided this definition. T uh, and the definition means, take means to harass, harm, hurt, hunt, shoot, wound, kill, trap, capture, or collect, or to attempt to harass, harm, pursue, hunt, shoot, wound, <laughs> kill, trap, capture, or collect the species. The rocky inner title buried by the slide was designated as critical habitat for the federally endangered black abalone in 2011. Most of the rocky coastline in the scenic Big Sur is designated as critical habitat. The footprint of the slide began to change immediately with the wave action like I was saying before and the near shore currents, immediately mobilizing sediments derived from the landslide both in the subtidal and intertidal. Sediment deposited by the initial landslide into the subtitle has been moving constantly. In addition, waves have eroded exposed portions of the slide, causing rapid retreat of newly formed cliffs at the seaward edge. New benches flanking the slide began to spread north and south, converting rocky intertidal habitat into black abalone, or into black sand beaches. On the 24th and 25th of July 2017, Biologists from UC Santa Cruz and Caltrans surveyed the inner tidal flanking both sides of the slide on the north end and the south end um, and noted losses of black and red abalone, among other large mobile invertebrates. Deaths appeared to be due to burial and scour. Numerous live back black abalone were found both north and south of the slide. Size, structure, and density data, along with other assessment of habitat quality, indicated this, this particular stretch of coastline had healthy black abalone. Spread of sediments and subsequent conversion of rocky intertidal into sandy beach poses an ongoing threat to black abalone and their habitat. Scientists from multiple agencies and institutions, uh, California Department of Fish and Wildlife, Caltrans, NOAA's Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, National Marine Fisheries Service, Protected Resource Division, and Southwest Fisheries Science Center, Tanera Environmental, and UC Santa Cruz created a plan of action that involved the collection, tagging, and translocation of black abalone in imminent danger of being buried by encroaching sediments. This work is permitted by NIMPS and City of W. To date, 31 black abalone were translocated to an area beyond the influence of Mud Creek landslide where they are being monitored monthly. Ongoing monitoring of new beach formation at Mud Creek Slide will, be, will determine if subsequent translocations are necessary. So pretty much every week now we're coming out at the low tides and we're monitoring the beaches to the south and to the north of the slide just to make sure that none of the sediment has going over into new areas that we haven't already moved the black abalone out of to make sure that they're not buried by any of the sediment coming off from the slide. Right now we have the established RSP seawall protecting the toe. So in reality, it shouldn't be spreading that much more. Um, there's not that much more um, sediment coming down into the system. So hopefully that stays the same. We'll see how everything holds with the rains coming up next week and all the hydro seeding that they're doing today. Um, 
yeah, that's basically my main talking points. Does anyone have any questions?